Over 4,000 internally displaced persons living at a Kudesan Maraban Radio IDP camp in Chikung, local government area of Kaduna State, have received clothes and food items to alleviate their challenge. The 10 communities displaced persons, including women, children and men, seeking refuge following terrorist attack on their communities after losing a source of their livelihood. Plus TV News correspondent Habila Darfai files in this report has been presented in our studio. The incessant attacks on communities, especially in northern Nigeria, has increased the number of widows, orphans and many families displaced in most affected areas. Some of the affected persons have fled their ancestral homes to the urban centers to seek refuge without any source of livelihood. This ugly development prompted the humanitarian group Eco Smile Support and Empowerment Initiative to restore hope of the widows, orphans, and men who are worst hit by the insecurity and are in dire need of basic amenities to cope with life challenges. Speaking at the distribution of the food items, the team leader of the group, Blessing Sundays, says the gesture is to support and put smile on the IDPs. Displaced from their communities. Once upon a time, these people were doing well. They have everything it takes to take care of themselves and their children. And we all know what is happening in the country. In fact, some of the kids are not even going to school. And these children cannot just sit at home like that. The women, some of them are not even doing anything. They are not doing anything. The youths among them, they have nothing doing. So we really need to assist these people. They can't be left like this. And that is why we came here with our team, to see how we can support them in our only two way. They need our support. In your only two way, you can please come and support these people. Also, the IDP's camp coordinator says life has been difficult for them since they left home a year ago. So they are very, very happy. I myself am happy because because my, she has really put smile on the faces of people. You can see, as you know, most of the people in the IDP are orphans and widows. They have no one to help them. Just like everybody knows that we are here, there's nothing that these people are doing. Practically, they are doing nothing because there is no farming. And everyone knows that their livelihood uh, is farming, which have been taken away from them. They commended the effort of the group for providing food and clothes to the IDPs. They also asked the government as a matter of urgency to restore peace and order in the affected communities. The most support we need now for our place to be calm so that we want to return home. All these are like uh, our culture, we are, not, uh, we are not used to this. We are hard workers. We work with our hands, we work with our strength to support others. Now we are the one waiting for support. It's not in our court at all. If we go there, we farm, I think we can produce, we can support ourselves and support others outside. We have uh, three churches from our side, uh, Kasu, here. So we appreciate for the supporting us and other uh, villages that are supporting us here. Uh, maize, rice, and clothes and other things. As the government continues to find a lasting solution to insecurity, the affected persons are hopeful they would one day return to their ancestral home. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.